Hey, this is Walker with Full Spectrum Laser and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the camera feature on your Muse with the built-in camera and how to adjust files on top of your material and run the job. So let's get started. First, we're going to place our material into the workspace. Place your material as centered as possible inside the Muse's 20 by 12 inch work area. Be careful not to hit any components of the machine with your material. Next we'll focus the laser head to our material using the focus billet. Position the laser head over your material using the focus billet, bring it on top of the material and lower the cone onto it. Be sure the material doesn't impede the movement of your laser head. Now let's turn to our retina engraved software. We already have our IP address in the browser and our file has been imported, so now we're ready to go. Locate the camera icon on your Retina Engrave software. Hover your mouse over the camera icon and you'll see a drop down that says clear visual. Click that first to reset the camera. Now click the camera icon. A pop-up window will appear with instructions. We are focused to our material. Now all that is left is to begin our height measurement by clicking the new height measurement. Note that your laser head will shift back and measure the height with the second red dot dialed. If you get a failed message that your pre-measurement movement failed, adjust your laser head so it's two to three inches away from the left and two to three inches away from the top. You can also repeat the measurement step to get more accurate readings. The results of your multiple measurement tests should not vary drastically. If they do, that will indicate that the material is uneven. Click continue to begin the snapshot process. The camera will take nine photos of the workbed and stitch them together. Your software's workspace should now represent what's inside the laser. We're almost there. Now we need to enter our power settings, speed settings, and other applicable settings. These settings will depend on your material and your project type. All that's left to check is the position of the material before we run the job. Find and click the run perimeter button. Observe the red dot tracing your material and adjust accordingly. Once you're ensured the material is positioned correctly, press the start button and begin running the job. And that's it! Be sure to check out our other Muse videos and keep making!